say if this would be the statement weekend? Is this well, we, it was a weekend we obviously needed. Uh, we, we got ourselves back to, to a tie for first place. Obviously, having control of the matchups was important this week, and we didn't have them. We played them there, and they were able to do that. And that boys' line was huge the way they played all weekend line against Larkin. Uh, Adam got back on top of his game, and you know, the save at the end was kind of what we're used to here. That he'd make that game changing save, and, and he did. He didn't have a lot of work tonight. I thought our guys did a really good job again defensively. We have we're able to play with the lead. And last night's game, I think, was a real hard, hard game. We had to a lot of both teams. We didn't quite have the same energy tonight, but you know, we did enough to uh, uh, to win the game and, and sweep the series. But the way you guys were playing a month ago, would you expect that you'd be on top of the Big Ten standings here? Well, I mean, you, sometimes you forget where we we said that. <laughs> we came back from the Michigan weekend we were an overtime difference, and that's it. ourselves back in it, but the guys have done a good job of staying with it, and uh, this was important for us at the end of the year. What do you mean to get Seth's goal in the first? Well, the first goal is obviously so important. I mean, even the, the way the game was unfolded, it looked like there was a, little, a lot of offense tonight. So being able to get that first goal and play with the lead all night long was important. We, did, we gave up a couple of odd rushes in the first period, but other than that, uh, you know, we played a pretty good defensive game. And you saw us selling off there at the end, and that's... That's one of the right Were you surprised that there wasn't more offense given? No, I think, I, I do. I think some of last night's game, the minutes guys played, took a little lot on both teams. You know, you play a late game, doesn't start to play a lot. You know, you probably don't go to bed until 2 o'clock in the morning, you get to sleep. So, um, when, you, when you have to play that tempo, it does take you know, some of the gas on the team. In a game like this, uh, where you're fighting to the end, you kind of had a. Yeah, we have a that. Is that a good one? Yeah, I mean, it's a good one to have. It's good for Adam that uh, he was able to close it out. And, uh, you know, it's a, we haven't had a shutout in a long time, and that was a total totally team effort. And he earned a big save at the end. Then he uh, took the uh, shot. Uh, yeah, I, you know, he was in the locker room. He seemed pretty good after the game. So, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we're getting a little thin, so hopefully, he'll be able to come back and play next week. Yeah, we didn't know. I mean, he took a little uh, contusion yesterday. We knew it wasn't anything that was serious, but, you know, he wasn't even in a position to play, but he seemed a little bit better today, uh, this morning, and he was able to treat him just fine. You talked last week about the speed limit going up for this weekend. How do you transition from the stretch here? Um, you know what? We'll just go back to work on Monday. You know, we'll just keep it important and we'll practice in short. So much that this time of year, so we'll have a better physical energy. And, 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 and